Hi there, my name is Zach and I design Shotlister. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial giving an overview of the basics of what the app is in case you're not that familiar with it. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial not going over every little button. It's really just to give you an idea of the general flow and why Shotlister is great. Um, Shotlister, if you don't know, is an app for designing shot lists as well as designing shooting schedules that give you a minute-by-minute -minute play by play of your of your day. It's really good at organizing and then it does a lot of magical stuff when you're actually shooting which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, right now I'm using the macOS version. Uh, there's also a version on iOS and iPad and hopefully other platforms in the future. Um, but right now, this is macOS. And the cool thing is it's free on macOS, iOS, it's free on everything. There's um, Shotlister Pro, which gives you access to some high-end features, but essentially almost the entire app is free, uh, just limited to two projects. So let's just dive in to give you a bit of an overview of what the app is. So here on the left you've got your navigation. Um, on iOS it's it's slightly different but it's still the same hierarchy. You've got your scenes and inside your scenes uh, you've got your shots and then you have your shoot days and inside of each shoot day you've got shots and notes. And uh, so if you were to click on the scene heading here or the shoot day heading um, you can see also your projects settings and there's a lot of different settings here the main two ones are it's where you can turn on episodes if you want to have an episodic project and then you select the episode and it shows you the ep um, the scenes that are in that episode or it's also where you can invite crew if you want to be able to have crew see the project as you're shooting your day or as you're making changes you can also give them edit privileges so they can be um, you know clicking off shots while you're directing or they can be working on a second unit you can have as many people working on the project as at once just like Google Docs so that's all managed here in the project settings um, you can also see a list of all your scenes that you have in the project this is just a demo project I have that's just got a few scenes and if I click into this scene here you can see all the shots that are in that scene um, and all the different columns that are here are things that you want to track related to your shot. So what camera, what size, its nickname, what happens in the shot, the gear you're using. But all of that is highly, highly customizable. So you can um, turn on or off any of the categories that are related to the project that you're doing. So if you're not having special effects, if you don't care about what lens it's on, you can turn that stuff off. Um, you can even make your own categories. So if you wanted to, for example, create a category related to, um, let's see, like say you wanted to know a certain special lighting effect. You could say lighting effect and you know, choose this as its icon and hit save and now you have a lighting effect column uh, which when you click on your shot it shows you all the different settings for that shot and down here is your lighting effect um, and you can kind of turn that on and off as a little icon um, so highly customizable you can uh, really turn on and off anything that you need or don't need and you will not see those settings anywhere in the app once you turn them off so it's highly flexible you can also do things like turning on storyboard and circle takes which are uh, pro features which allow you to add images to every shot or circle takes allows you to circle takes as you're shooting uh, which ones that you like and so you can really customize the app to add in all of your shot data before you get ready to shoot but when you're ready to shoot you head over to the shoot day view and here you've got your shoot days that are currently built um, if I click on this one you'll see what it's like inside of a shoot day so inside of a shoot day there's a few things going on but the basic idea here is it's like a one-liner for shots but on a minute by minute and shot by shot level so We've got our first scene here, scene 8, starting at 7 a.m., and it's going to take 7 hours and 45 minutes to shoot. These are just estimates. So um, on the right side here, you've got the estimated time it's going to take to shoot each thing, and on the left here, the time that each thing is going to start. And you can move these around. You can even uh, merge things together by linking them, and that means that these two things are going to be shot at the same time, which would make sense if you're doing an A and a B camera. So I could change this to B camera, um, and they would both take 35 minutes to do um, and you can move these types around you also have these things which are called notes and so you can create notes which you can move around and you kind of build out the plan for your day the cool thing that the app is doing is it's adding up all these times for you so right now this day um, you know supposed to start at 7 a.m. and at 7 p.m. so that's 12 hours and right now there's 10 and a half hours worth of work um, so really cool tool for planning um, I'll just give you a, an idea of, of how that works when you build a new day. So if I create a day here, I'm just going to call this arc. 
um, you can do a cool thing like adding your location and it's going to take the date and your location and automatically add the sunrise and sunset times. Um, I'm going to change the call time to be around 4 p.m. because that's closer to the time it is where I am right now. Um, and that day is all set up. And if you go into it, there's nothing scheduled yet. You click this plus and you can come in here and pick shots from your scenes to add to this day. Um, I'm just going to add these. It's telling me those are already scheduled. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure because I'm just showing you how this works. Um, so I'm moving over some shots and I've now added shots to this day. I've added seven and a half hours worth of work. So let's grab a few more shots so we can get this closer to a 12 hour day. Oh, we've gone way over, we're, we're, we're way over there. So I'll just go down to the bottom here and uh, bring some of these down to zero. And there we go, how are we doing? Uh, or 13 hours, not bad. Uh, we'll just go with that for a second. So I'm going to click notes, uh, which creates a little note and I can move that up here and place that around. Um, one of the cool things that you can also do is have notes be at a specific time and I'll show you why that's important in a minute. So I'm going to call this one, uh, you know, Indiana stunt and for whatever reason that has to happen exactly at, uh, 5 PM. So now if we scroll up to 5 PM, we will see that Indiana stunt is exactly at 5 p.m. and there's this thing called a gap and that's because this shot is starting at 4 but it's going to take 35 minutes and this shot is 75 minutes so it doesn't fit between the Indiana Jones stunt and this other thing. So if I bring this down to 20 minutes then it will fit and this 5 minute shot fits inside of there. Um, so you can see how you move things around, you get the schedule, and then when it comes to actually shooting your show, something really magical happens. There's something called live mode. So I'm going to turn live mode on here, and this is what it looks like when you're actually filming. So you see these two clocks, one's called uh, shot, one's called wrap. And basically that means is right now we're 40 minutes behind, um, and shot is basically telling you if you finish the shot that you're on right now, how far ahead or behind you'll be. So if I'm going to say we're done that, I'm skipping ahead a little bit here. So now it says we're 26 minutes behind. So as you um, do things, it'll continuously kind of tell you how you're doing. So it might mean that you go ahead later and you say instead of, you know, 50 minutes, that's going to take uh, 40 minutes, which now means we're only 16 minutes behind. It might You might think, uh, well, actually, these two shots we can get at the same time, so I'm going to link them, which now means we're 14 minutes ahead. Um, and so all the changes you're making are to make sure that you get what counts most during your shoot day. Um, you're also going to see on the left here this little bar kind of move down through the shot. So if this is a if you've estimated this is going to be 20 minutes, it's going to take 20 minutes for this to kind of move along. And you can see now the shot clock says minus 33. That means that if we uh, got this shot right now um, without using all the time we thought we were, we'd actually be 33 minutes ahead. Um, whereas if we take the time that we thought we'd have, which is 20 minutes, we would be 14 minutes ahead. So you can see how this is a very helpful tool. It's meant to be flexible. It's meant to be moved around while you work very quickly so that you can get back to what's most important, shooting. So that's what Shot Lister is. Um, give it a try. There's more in-depth tutorials. There's one called How to Build a Shot List that goes through all the details of the scene mode. And there's one called How to Build a Shooting Schedule, which goes through all the details and all the different buttons of this mode. If you have any ideas of how to improve the app, please contact us. Join the Discord if you want to say hello, and uh, if you're having any issues, just reach out to us. Hope you enjoy it, and happy shot listing.